Now for our story. Len, let's not go back to the car yet. Let's walk for a while. All right, sweetheart. Sure you'll be warm enough? Oh, yes. Oh, it's a beautiful night. Mm -hmm. All the spangly lights along the lake. Lovely. Not half as lovely as you are, Lisa. Darling, I'm worried about you, though. Are you? Yes. Something's bothering you. I wish I knew what. Won't you tell me what it is? Yes, something was bothering Lisa Fanner as she and her husband strolled slowly along the walk bordering Lake Michigan. Tonight, after a reconciliation between Lisa and Lance, ending a long estrangement, Del Shipley had told Lisa that she must confess her story and claim the baby which was in Kit Calvert's custody, the baby which stood between Bill Meade and Peggy Douglas. Now, Lisa is faced with a terrifying decision, whether she can tell her husband Lance that she had relinquished their baby, and whether or not he will forgive her. Now, Lance's voice is tender as he says, You know, sweetheart, we can't have secrets between us. Can't we? No. Lisa, I'd planned this evening as a very special occasion. I thought we'd be gay, happy together. But something went wrong. Or is it just that you're tired? No. Then what? Doubts again? Fears? I'm sorry, Lance. I haven't been very good company, I know, but... It's so hard to get used to well, being with you again after all, all the time since we separated. When I held you in my arms tonight, when I kissed you, I, I felt you were wholly mine again, with no reservations. And then... But, Lance, after people have been away from each other for so long, it can't all be erased with... Well, with just a kiss. Lisa, what happened when you went back to see Mrs. Shepley tonight? After she found you in the dressing room? Because after that, you were different. Don't ask me, Lance, please. Well, if you don't want to talk, do you mind if I do? Because I've got a lot of things to tell you. You see, I'm not the same guy who walked out on you in San Francisco, Lisa. You're not? No. I'm an entirely new man. Maybe sadder, but an awful lot wiser. It's funny. I've learned so much about you since then. Even when you didn't see me? Sure. I learned a lot, too. But I'm not sure it does any good. Maybe too late. It's never too late. Darling, what a model husband I'm going to be. No more pipe tobacco on the floor. No more early morning grouches before that first cup of coffee. I'll even let you choose my ties. <laughs> that is a confession. <laughs> you bet it is. Now... After that, can you possibly doubt me? It isn't a question of doubting you, Lance. It's more that I doubt both of us together. I can't explain, but it's, it's not just a simple matter of our being together again. I do wish you'd explain. How can I help if you won't tell me what you're thinking? I can't tell you, Lance. Not yet. You mean you might later on? Perhaps. I'll have to decide. But in the meantime, surely there's something I can do if you'd only let me try to help. No, there's nothing at all you can do. This is something I have to fight through all by myself. Lisa, I don't want to hound you. And I can't expect you to come back this first night as if nothing had happened. To pick up just where we left off. But you haven't really given me an answer at all. I've been trying to pretend to myself that you've given me nothing to go on. I couldn't, Lance. I'm not sure. But if only you wouldn't keep me hanging in midair. If, if you'd give me something to hope for, look forward to. I, I don't dare. I can't be sure. Besides, this dancing engagement I told you about, for the two of us as a team again, I'll have to give them an answer soon. I wouldn't want to go ahead and take a job by myself until I know where we stood. So you see, there are a lot of things to be decided, sweetheart. Yes. Yes, I know. I'd give anything to be able to... Yes? Oh, Lisa, you want to say it. But something's holding you back. Yes, Lance. Yes, something is holding me back. Please, Lance, take me home now. I'm tired. I 
back in time. Time to think. And a short while later, Lance kissed his wife tenderly, watched her enter the door of the apartment she shares with Lily Devon. Lily, who is sitting up in bed, wide awake as Lisa comes in. Well, am I glad to see you. I've been on pins and needles all evening. Couldn't even get interested in this mystery story I'm reading. Well, you shouldn't have waited up for me, Lily. Listen, sugar, it wasn't a question of choice. I couldn't have gone to sleep if I wanted to. Been too excited. What happened? I thought I'd be able to tell from your expression, but I'm darned if I can. Nothing happened, really. Nothing definite anyway. Don't kid me, Lisa. I could tell from the look on Lance's face that it wasn't going to be a dull evening. I must say I wasn't really surprised to see him either. Kind of had a hunch he wouldn't take no for an answer when you sent him away before. Well, aren't you going to give me the lowdown? Lance wants us to go back together. Oh, sure, I guess that. What'd you tell him? I... I told him I love him, Lily. I didn't want to, but I couldn't help it. Oh, for the love of Mike, why shouldn't you tell him you love him? You know you do. Swell. Then it's all settled. You guys can have this apartment while I'm in Wakefield. It'll be wonderful. Oh, maybe we ought to fix the place up a little. After all, this will be practically like a Wait, second... Wait, Lily. I didn't tell Lance I'd go back to him. You didn't? No. But, well, I don't get it. What's keeping you apart? It's all clean cut now. You know you love each other. I don't understand. What's keeping you apart? Only I could tell her. So many people, so many tangled lives. Kit, Peggy, Bill Mead, Nicholas Dorn, and the baby, my son. If I hadn't given him to Kit, but I did, I had to. And now, the baby stands between Peggy and Bill. Between Lance and me, too. If I tell the truth... Admit what I've done, Lance would never forgive me. Peggy and Bill might be happy, and yet it's not my fault, it's Kit's. She's made me suffer enough already. And now when I have a chance, I have a right to start over again. Lance loves me. We can build a new life. Peggy's not my responsibility. Kit took Bill away from her. It's not my fault. If Lance and I start over, forget the past, perhaps we can be happy. The baby's well cared for. Even Dell admits that. If Bill got custody of him, he'd have a good home. Perhaps I'll have another child. A child Lance will be proud of. But I can't tell him about this one. I can't let him know I gave our son away. I'd never be able to make him understand how desperate I was. Del will hate me, but I can't help that either. I have a right to happiness, and I'm going to have it. In her thoughts, Lisa Fenner tried desperately to justify seeking personal happiness at the cost of hurting another. But is Lisa capable of following through such a plan, of deceiving her husband, allowing Peggy Douglas to make a loveless marriage, rather than confess that she relinquished her baby son to Kip Mead. 